The reason we were testing last time was that our headrest appeared to be slightly too hard in a rearward accident. From that testing, we decided to come back and test about three different products um, that looked very good in the data. We built actual car parts, we'll put them on the sled and run them again and look at the numbers and decide if the data um, really match what the raw parts did. We always run a baseline, so we've always started our testing with what's on the race car uh, when we're testing race car parts, and then we'll build parts to uh, incorporate each of the new materials um, and then from that we can make our decisions on whether or not to change what we have currently in the race car if we find something better. Our sled testing usually involves two different phases. A proof of concept of materials and then an actual car part test. Um, you can see from the headrest below, these are a proof of concept for materials. There's two different materials here and we actually tested I think about six or seven different materials. It's much cheaper to just build materials only in the shape of the part we're going to use and then run them through our test and look at all the uh, numbers and the data from the test to decide which direction to go. Phase two of our testing, as we said before, was to actually create car parts and run them on the sled. Um, you can see from these two items here, this has been covered with a Kevlar patch, carbon shell on the back. Um, this is a piece that has not been crashed yet. Um, it actually would fit in a race car. Now we've made them a little bit shorter to save some money. We don't do any side impacts here, so we're only worried about the rear. Um, and you can see this is a post-accident one. You can see the damaged area where the foam inside the covering has uh, moved or displaced to absorb the energy. We'll analyze the actual parts, the damage on them, as well as the data. And from that, we'll decide our direction on what recommendations to make uh, for safety changes in the race cars. The main reason the Indy Racing League spends time and money to do all this safety research is to protect our drivers. They are the ones out there risking their life, putting on the show for the fans. Crashes will happen. We would love it if no crashes ever happened, but they do. Our goal is to allow a driver to crash in normal situations and not get hurt. Uh, the headrest testing is directly coupled to their head, helmet, and the Hans. Uh, that's why we put some emphasis on that this year. We'd like to see a little less G's during an accident, which means different materials to absorb the uh, loading better and stuff. And we're on down the road with that. We, in our testing, we found some materials that absorb the energy a little better, recover better, so should there be a secondary hit, the energy is still absorbable by the material, um, as opposed to being crushed and not usable again. So we've had some good luck. Uh, we're still testing. Hopefully next year, through our testing, we'll have some recommendations to give the teams and drivers on materials that will better protect them in an accident situation.